evening. My name's Dale. I uh, run BridgeToGantry.com. Tonight I'm going to be doing a little video about the Nurburgring and about tourist and farting. Now, as you can see, the main camera is pointing ahead of the car. The little camera is pointing into the car, so we get to talk. Uh, we're coming up to the roundabout here that's just outside the entrance to the Nordschleife. And as you can tell from the traffic, it's a tourist fart night, which means public driving. You, me, anybody, we can all drive. So, if this is your first visit, what you do here is you turn right, you drive into the car park. Ahead of the car right now is a little ticket office. You can park up here, buy your ticket, get yourself prepared, put your helmet on. Not necessary, by the way. Just uh, my personal preference. And then once you've bought your ticket, you can go out onto the track. So, I'm just going to wait for these guys to come past me. And we'll go down to the ticket barrier. <coughs> So as you can see, people coming off the track. We're going onto the track. I'm gonna get my little card out. So you drive up to the, up to the barrier. I've got a Yaris car. You can give it to the very nice gentleman. There's no, no camera allowed on the track. Uh, yeah, I've got a permit. Uh, I'm doing a piece for the internet site. I've got my. Yeah, permission? yeah uh, it's okay. 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 Okay, it's okay. Normally, you're not allowed to have a, a camera in the car. Okay, if could you put that in yeah, for me? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So as you can see, the controls are strict. They're looking for this sort of thing. <laughs> Cheers, guys. If you're not meant to have a camera in the car, then obviously at this point you'd be turning around and going back into the car, car park. Uh, I've got special permission to have a camera in the car and I've had to sign a little agreement that says I'm not going to use this camera to show videos of uh, accidents or nasty things at the Nürburgring. So you come out of these cones and at this point here there's no speed limit so we can just crack on. Antonius Buka. Now the default position on the Nordschleife for during tourists and far is the right hand side of the track. So I'm keeping right, I'm looking in my mirrors, I've got nobody behind me, so we're clear. Now when the track is clear, we can start to use the racing line a little bit. So here this is the T13 complex. And we turn right here. If you were racing in VLN, you could actually go straight on there. This is where the GP track joins the Nordschleifer again. Turning point is the end of the wall. Checking my mirrors, nothing there. Take the racing line. Let the car drift out to the left. At the two kilometre sign, we turn in. I'm going to follow the left hand side of the track until I see the next corner, I drift to the right, still clear behind, and we're entering Hatson back. Now the Hatson back we have this double right first, and then a very easy left, then right, over a little bump, and then left. Break a little bit, white spot we turn in. And out to Hock Icon. Now the white spots are painted here over the course of the year by a number of different schools. The biggest of those schools is the BMW Performance Driving School that runs here twice a year. I'm just going to stay right. I've got traffic behind me. So what we do when we've got traffic that's faster than us, we put our right indicator on and we stay on the right hand side. And then we can just wave it through. 
well, there he goes. Now, if we were flat out at this point, and did something a little bit faster, we'd be touching 150 miles per hour. But we're not. <laughs> and I'm taking a really easy lap. So this is Schweden Kreuz, turning just after the five kilometre sign. Once again, I've checked my mirrors, we're all clear. And as soon as the car's straight, I'm braking down the gear and into the right that we call Arenberg. Now we're heading down into the foxhole. A very, very fast piece of the track, this. For low-powered cars, this is actually the fastest point, just here. At the top, there's a very gentle left, and we start braking when we see this sign here for Adenau first. This is one of the very dangerous corners. A lot of people get this wrong. Very late turning. Late apex on the left, and then that gives you a textbook exit out to the right. hand side of the track is because technically tonight the track is a two-lane autobahn. If there was an incident, a collision, maybe some argument, the way the pilot side would look at the track tonight is as two lanes, a left lane for overtaking and a right lane for normal driving. They're not interested in who had the uh, corner, who cut each other up, they're not bothered about that because it's a public road, remember? Coming down to Spiegel Curve, this is a very tight flick just through here. If you've watched any of my other videos, you can see that can be taken very fast if you know what you're doing. Now this is called Miss Hit Miss, we missed the first curve, hit the apex of the second and then let the car drift out again. Break into the straight line, break it again, we can see we've got some photographers here tonight, we turn in. Apex and out. Now you see we're going downhill all the time. Since the start finish line, we've actually dropped a thousand feet, 300 meters. This braking zone here is the last downhill section. I'm going to stay right, we've got a fast guy coming through. It's actually as well the second area with a speed limit. And then no speed limit so we can get back on the gas. which was a bit of a shame. End of the curves, turn in for Bergwerk, and out. So now, we're going back uphill. And we're gonna keep on going uphill for the next couple of kilometers. In fact, we're gonna go a thousand feet up in three kilometers. If you're mathematically minded, you can work out the average gradient, the average incline that we're facing. Well, I'm not. All I can tell you is it's bloody steep. We turn in and exit. Again, I'm only going half throttle. Watching my mirrors. Whenever you're on a straight piece like this, it's good to watch your mirrors. Beautiful evening. So this corner is called Mud Curver. At the end of the rumble strip, we turn in, apex and out. And you'll see my head doing these little left turns, looking over my shoulder, I'm always checking for fast traffic. When you're on the Nordschleifer, there can be cars and motorcycles doing two times the speed you are, three times even. So here, we're at Steilstrecker. Ahead of us and to the left is the short, short steep straight heading up the hill. We go right and we're heading now towards the carousel. I think 
If the Nürburgring has got a signature curve out of its 70 odd named corners, I think the carousel is the signature. We turn in, keep the car perfectly in the centre of the concrete planks, and then out. If you go too high, you can scrape the centre of the car. If you go too low, you're just not getting the full benefit. So, we're still climbing. If I was to get out and try and walk up this, I tell you, I'd be huffing and puffing by the top of it. And here we are, at the top of the hill, Horat. Now, the last third of our lap is a bit of a rolling up and down roller coaster through the forest. Typically, it's also the most difficult part of the track to learn. That's because it looks a little bit samey when you're first starting out. This is Whipperman. We just run the last turn like that. And now into Eschbach, we turn right and over the hill. We don't have a first apex there. This is the entrance to Brunschen. This is a big spectator area. A lot of people get tempted to uh, over-egg the pudding here. And if you don't know what over-egging the pudding means, well, let me say it this way. They see the crowds, they see the cameras, they think, yeah, I can make the tyre squeal. And then when it all goes wrong, you'll see the results on YouTube. VXR Astro Man, you know who we're speaking to. So, Heading down towards the jump. I got a little bit fast just so we get a bit of air. Like that. Ah, finally. So, this is Flight Garden 2, also called Sprunghugel. Straight through the high speed wiggle that is Spansgarten 3. And when you come across slow and moving traffic, you put your left indicator on, wait for them to move over, which is done straight away, and we can go past. Just like that. Now the mini carousel we go all the way to the bottom of this. So one wheel on the tarmac, one on the concrete. And we're heading up the hill. This is the final corner ahead of us. Take the first apex, let the car run out wide. It's straight for a half a second, turn in on the 186. Hit the next apex at the bottom of the dip, and then let the car run out wide again. slow down because little known fact there's a speed limit here 130 k's here and then 90 k's and you can see the road signs up ahead they're telling us that the lanes merge we're going to be going off to the right hand side of the track and the red light means that's the end of the night. Track doesn't open till tomorrow morning. Here you've got two lanes. If you're going to continue with your laps, you go to the left hand side here. As it is, I'm going back into the car park. When you are in the car park, it's important to drive nice and considerately. Because if you misbehave in the car park, it'll get you banned from the track, trust me. Evening. Find yourself a nice spot, park up. Remember, if you're just coming from, off from a hot lap, your brakes might be a bit warm the engine might be a bit warm, it might be wise to continue out onto the public road 
and drive a kilometer at normal speed, let everything cool down. I wasn't going so fast, so I'm happy enough to park it here. So I'm gonna turn the engine off, stick her in gear, and let her rest in first gear. Now, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was a decent introduction if this was your first lap of the Nürburgring, and uh, I'll see you on the website.